Do you see this? This is a dead game. Oh yes. Does anyone remember this game existed? No. There was a game that came out in May of 2020 called Crucible. It was Amazon's answer to Overwatch. Now they're also offering free credits that make you play the game, but no one wants to play the game. Only 9 people were playing an hour ago. That's abysmal for any game, okay? You have all these people saying, oh, but Overwatch is dead. No one's playing Overwatch anymore. Well, two freaking, you know, custom game rob, the one full mats, two full matches of Overwatch, which are probably, must be more than one, has more players than the entire player base of Crucible. No one's playing this game. No one's playing this game. You know, this game doesn't didn't have good reviews. And no one's playing this game, okay? Like, Persona 4, that had a lot of players at the beginning. But again, that's a single-player game, so the player base is expected to decline. Okay? Because once people have completed the game, people are not going to play the game anymore and move on to something new. Crucible is a game we could play for a while. But no one's playing it, because nobody wants to buy it. It's kind of like Pokemon, so even Sword and Sealed has probably more players than Crucible. That's sad. This game is just a failure, okay? You know, I read it on Valorant for not having a, you know, for, you know, saying, oh, Valorant's gonna die pretty quickly, but that game still has around 50,000 viewers on Twitch. 60 to 70 to 50,000 viewers on Twitch. That is still way better than probably Crucible's, like, two people who are watching the game. Because literally nobody wants to play this game. And no one's gonna care about this game. I won't be surprised by the end of this year, this game's, this game servers shut down because nobody wants to play this and it's deemed a commercial failure. So that's basically it. Goodbye.